I submit to you today that this is the day that we can no longer see any of these issues as separate. Today is the day we unite. I truly have many things to be afraid of. But I also have many things that give me hope. If there was ever a time for solidarity, this is it. And I see injustices everywhere I go in my communities. And I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired. I'm sick and tired. I'm rather moved to see so many of God's people come together on one day. See, if we had to work up sooner, we wouldn't be at half the mess we had now. Donald Trump is my president, okay? Hold the booze, hold the booze. For him to say yes, you know, we pledge allegiance to Donald Trump. Well, he just pledged allegiance to me and you. So I want to do my part. So he told me that Americans will no longer be ignored. So here I We will continue to resist modern colonialism, to support rights for indigenous peoples and support an end to environmental racism and food apartheid. We will continue to affirm that black lives matter. And we will continue to demand justice for Dante Ivey, who was seized to death by the Albany Police Department just blocks from here. This is my mic. And I'm not to talk. This is my mic, thank you. Called Ezra Prentice. Ezra Prentice is located in the south end of Albany, down by the port of Albany. Right smack dead in the middle of 787. Bomb trains in their backyard. Recycling plant down the street. Waste waste management down the street. Set 1,000 diesel trucks per day pass right through their front door. Tell me that's not an injustice. So we have to stand up and fight. Five women will go to a Planned Parenthood health center at some point in their life. So look around you. We're here. We're not going anywhere. We all need to step up and be leaders. We bought into racism and every other kind of schism. We believe a lie about the language we don't talk and the language we do talk. But we forgot that we all come from a common denominator. Uh, here's a president that has done well with no assistance from the very folks that are still in office. We have people on the cabinet that are scientifically illiterate and they can support us. And we can always come back if some of us choose, but what we cannot do is stop global warming. And that is the future of my child and your child. And that is not at stake. and many more across this state and across this country live every single day. This white patriarchal supremacy has plagued the history of this nation. It will end. It is our duty to fight